It is very interesting, you know, to look back at these older games. Oh, there's a bridge here. Hello, 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 and welcome to Threelo, the show for your first look. I'm Sir Jaxi, and today we will be taking a first look at Wasteland 1, the original classic. Henceforth being called just Wasteland. So what is Wasteland? Well, Wasteland is an adventure in the RPG strategy game that is 27 years old. Yes, so why am I playing a 27 year old game? Well, I'll let you know in a minute. First off, it was developed by NXL Entertainment and is currently being published by them as well. Though it, when it came out back on January 1st, 1988, it was originally published by Electronic Arts or EA. Now this game recently came onto Steam and you can buy it as a standalone game on Steam or on good old games, GOG.com. I think it's around $6. Or if you purchase Wasteland 2, like I did, then Wasteland comes with it. So it's a you know pretty good deal there. And yes, there will be a three low of Wasteland 2 coming soon. Now this game currently has about 139 user reviews on Steam and it's running at about an 82% positive review rating. So it's getting good reviews. So, according to the publishers, for the first time in over 20 years, we are heralding the return of a much loved piece of gaming history with the classic RPG Wasteland. Mutants, again. Even more than there was last time, they seem to materialize out of the very grains of the radioactive desert sand. Venomous yellow eyes. Now, by many, Wasteland is actually considered the godfather of the modern post-apocalyptic CRPG. Okay, enough of all that. Um... This actually was one of the first reactive and immersive worlds that was delivered in a persistent and con consequence to player choices. So you really, th this is this is what started all of the modern RPGs, kinda. And just real quick, we've started taking a light to know what the minimum specs are for the game. In this case, your minimum operating system is Windows XP. Your processor is any 2 GHz processor. You need 1 GB of memory. You need a 3D graphics card. <laughs> yes, DirectX has to be version 7.0 or better. And you have to have at least 100 MB of available space on your hard drive. So, pretty much this can run on almost any system out there. So let's jump right in, take a look. Here is our main menu. So we have the choice of starting a new game, loading other game. I'm not sure why that's there because I have yet to start a game. I messed with the settings a couple of times, but just to see what they were, but that, you know, whatever. Um, let's see, unofficial reset utility. So I guess we can reset the game. Settings about and quit. So let's look at our settings. Here we go. Our settings, since this is such an old game, it is, I should mention, running in DOSBox. Uh, settings. We can change our high definition portraits on or off. We'll leave those on. Smoothing on or off. It's on by default. Voice volume. We can change it from 0 to 9. It's default at 9. Music volume, there again, 0 to 9. It actually defaulted at 9. I had turned it down to 3. Um, the music you're hearing right now is actually off from the soundtrack because there's no music that plays during this part of the settings and main menu. Um, then, of course, you could also take and set your soundtrack mode. Right now, I have it set to loop the entire track. Or we could take and hit five, and that will loop the single track. And then we have our base track, which is the Wasteland theme. 
or we could hit six and choose from any of these other base tracks. Okay. So, how do we get back? I don't see. Huh. Well, I guess we just would hit A. That gives us the wasteland theme. Okay, that takes us back. And then, of course, Q to return to the main menu. Simple as that. That's pretty simple. A gives you the about. Yes, good old DOS box. Um, how do we get back to the game? Oh, crap. I knew I should have done that. Escape, maybe? Escape takes us back to the game. So we're going to Q. Okay, we did not want to hit Q. We actually wanted to hit N for new game. So pick a simple name consisting of alpha numeric characters, two through two to eight in length, enter Q to cancel. Okay, so Sir Jaxi. No, let's go Lady Jackson. No, we'll go Sir Jaxi on this one. Enter. Oh, ain't that pretty? There we go. And we start with music. Okay, so Brian Fargo presents Wasteland. The original Wasteland is copyright 1986 to 1988. Written by Alan somebody or other. Okay, let's just start. Okay, enter new location. Yes. Now, nobody said this game was pretty. It was groundbreaking, and for back in 1988, this was really pretty. But, well, use your imagination for today's world. Okay, so... You cannot create any more characters. Okay, then. So we're not going to create a character for this particular Let's Play look at, because it's a first look. If I do a Let's Play on this game, then I may take and do that. So we want to play. So why can't I move anything? What the hell? Can't use my arrow keys. Inter oh, that's why. Okay, so we'll leave Hellraiser, Angela, Death, Thrasher, and Snake Vargas, and we'll just click play. Yes, it does have mouse support, if you're wondering. Okay, so roster on. No, we don't want the roster on. Roster off. Okay. So, we want to go up, and this is, would be how we move across the wasteland, and here we are, enter new location, yes. So, we are entering High Pool. You're in the desert north of the settlement of High Pool. So, we want to go south to go more towards the cell, but I guess we can walk right through that tree. You are in the desert. Do oh, this is the dorm for teens. Nothing much of interest here. This is the dorm for teens. So, I guess these are all dorms for teens. Yes, okay. Nothing much of interest here, okay. This is a wall. This is a dorm for teens. Ah, here we go, now we're inside. The entry is cool. A stone counter is nearby and the room beyond looks like a gaming hall. Interview location, yes. Welcome to the shop. Who wants to enter? Um, Hellraiser wants to enter. You have zero dollars. I guess I can't buy anything. Who 
pool of money. Can't pool of money. Okay. Let's see. Do we have anything to sell? We could sell our rope, our canteen, our crowbar, our hand mirror, or a match. Huh. Well, I don't know. I think we're going to take a view. No, can't view. Can't use. I don't think we're going to sell any of those. So we're going to escape back. And then enter new location. Yes. Welcome to the shop. Who wants to enter? Maybe Angela Death. She doesn't have any money either. Do any of these people have money? I don't look it. Darn it. Okay then. So we can't buy anything at the moment. Okay. A name is printed on the door. Mr. Jumbo. The door is locked. This is a wall. That is a wall. Okay, so let's go back out. More dorms for teens. Okay, what is this? This looks like a workshop. Old machinery is nearby, and there's a cot in the back. So. Uh, this bedroom looks like a scrumpet. Your curiosity is renewed. Under a loose board beneath the bed you find quite a cache. Who wants to loot? Guess Hellraiser will. Hellraiser take an item. Ooh. 9mm pistol. 9mm pistol clips. Leather jacket. And $89 in cash. At least I'm assuming it's $89 in cash. Wow. That's pretty good. Radio. Yes. Hellraiser doesn't have quite enough experience to be considered for promotion. Huh. Okay. Sasher doesn't have... Nobody... Snake Vargas? Nope. Nobody has enough to be... So I guess radio is promoting them. Well, save game. Sure, why not? Quick game. No. I don't want to quit the game yet. Jeez. View. Don't know who I'm viewing. Disband? Who wants to disband? Nobody. Escape. Order. Pick a player. Hellraiser. Pick a player. Handle of death. Oh, no, I guess Thrasher. Snake Bar Vargas. Handle of death. Well, I just reordered our order. This party is not being attacked. Do you want to, them to execute a battle round? No. It said no. Okay. This big contraption is a patchwork machinery. You recognize a pump. Lime crusted pipes go under the floor. Those machinery parts. Lie on the floor, surrounded by scattered of tools. That was one of the things I loved about these old games. I mean, you had to explore everything. If you did explore, you never knew that there was a gun under the, the bed there. the wall okay so let's head on out enter new location yes welcome to the infirmary who wants treatment 
I don't think anybody needs to be treated. Maybe Hellraiser? Well, Hellraiser, I would recommend an exam for $25. Hell no! I'd go keep my money. In fact, we gotta go back to the store. Ah, oh, there's a playground. See, this is a playground with swings and slides. Bushes are all around. It's a wall, not a door. Gotta go in the door. Not a wall. No, nope, that way. There we go. Enter. Welcome to the shop. Okay, Thrasher wants the shop. Thrasher don't have any money. Let's pull money. Okay, Thrasher has $89 now. So, what do we have to buy? A book. <gasps> Crap, I bought a book without knowing what it was. It's a canteen, a crowbar, gas mask, Geiger counter for 300 ouch, hand mirror, a jug, a map, four matches. Oh, Pick, axe, rope, shovel, sledgehammer. Fruit and jewelry. Interesting. Well, we're going to leave the store for now. The heck? A note tacked to the wall says, Cave, Adults, Raid Outlaws, Jackie, Bobby's Dog, Fix Water Purifier. Okay. Well, that's good to know, I think. Is it a jobs board, maybe? Well, you are knee deep in High Pool Creek. The water is cool, but the rocks are very slippery. Highpool Creek bubbles past. It looks about two feet deep. The rocks are slick and mossy. Do not swim here. Okay. Let's talk to this person. Do you want to talk? Yes. A ter fearful boy watches you from the nearby bush. What do you want to ask? What is wrong? Yes, you actually had to type in these games. The kid fidgets and then shrugs. I don't know. Who are you? The kid fidgets and then shrugs. I don't know. What are you doing? Probably doesn't know that either. I'm probably typing the wrong things. The kid fidgets and shrugs. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I guess we're not going to mess with the kid. Well, let's see if we can't show you guys some combat. Before I end this game. It is very interesting. You know, to look back at these older games. Oh, there's a bridge here. You easily cross on large stepping stones. Okay. Not a lot going on. Back knee deep in the river. The fields near you are watered by a canal that gets its water from the creek. Let's try to see if we can't find some combat. Enter new location. Yes, okay. We're in the desert north of the settlement of High Pool, leaving High Pool. It is very warm. Okay, we probably should go that way then. 
Pincher, new location. Yes. Okay, outside the sales booth of a group of ten men with axes, hose. Outside the sales booth, a group of ten men with axes, hose, rakes, and shovels shake their heads with despair. Uh huh. Wonder what's going on. Oh, let's see. Read paragraph 56. What do you say? Paragraph 56 say. Closer now. You could hear the conversation of the man you saw when you came in. There's a short silence after each man voices his thoughts. They speak of varmints who are impossible to kill. The varmints are stealing their food faster than ever before, and they seem to be massive for a major attack. The simple weapons of the farmers are not enough to stop them. They have no idea what to do. One of them jumps as he notices you, and they all turn to face you. A stocky man they call Miguel approaches. Okay, well, I do not remember voiceover is quite that good back in 1988, but maybe my memory fails me. So what do we say? Are we going to offer to help, ask about payment, or just passing through? Well, let's offer to help. We'll be good guys. Miguel is pleased. The other farmers smile and thank you. They lead you to the vague they lead you to the vegetable field. In the shadow of an enormous satellite tracking dish stands the old man. Over a hundred years old, he is still vigorous and bright of eye, although he rambles incoherently at times. The farmers remove their hats as they approach and wait for him to speak. Frowning, deep in thought, he stares at what appear to be the remains of a 15-foot-tall carrot. He holds a long shaft of broken metal in one hand, and mumbles something about wascally wabbits that he had to beat away with his best rake. Miguel explains that you've come to help. The old man studies your weapons and tells you that he doesn't think your pea shooters will do any good against the armored varmints, but that you're welcome to try. If you succeed, he wants you to come back and see him. There's something he'd like to show you. Free to roam the veggie field, you head towards the carrot patch. From a distance, you hear the old man warn you, Watch out for Harry, the Bunny Master. The Bunny Master. Okay, so... Let's walk around, see what we can see. That's a catapult aimed at the north wall. Unusually hairy peaches, much larger than normal. Oh, okay. Four foot tall pears, pleasingly plump, perfectly prepared, possibly, to plummet per perilously. Oh boy. Let's try that again. Four foot tall pears, pleasingly plump, perfectly prepared, possibly, to plummet perilously from their peculiar perches. And pummel any passing pedestrian to a pasty, putrid pulp. Why, wow, okay, those are some dargon good pears, I would assume. And there's more. Okay. A heavy wooden door reinforced with steel defies you to open it. Okay, so see, we're just, we're wandering around. We're trying to find some varmints, I guess, to kill. Oh, you see what look like large chunks of the ground leaping towards you. Four desert lizards appear at 28 feet. Okay, well, enter that. Hellraiser, choose, run, use, hair, evade, attack. Weapon. Pistol. Um, load. Trasher's weapon can't be reloaded, okay. Trasher's weapon. 
guess we'll take an attack. Angela Death weapon. Use these options? No. Install. Load on jam. Hellraiser's weapon can't be reloaded. Ugh, okay, so we're gonna attack. No one was in. No one is within range. Okay. So how do we get closer? Run, use, hire, evade, attack. Go attack again. No one is within range. I don't get this. No one's in with range. Why are we use? Use a skill. Clip pistol. Whatever the hell that means. Okay. Ugh. Skill. Clip pistol. I don't know what we're doing. Map. Why can't we move on the map? So that's the map. We can't attack because nobody's in range. Yes. Ah, okay, here we go. Encounter begins. Snake Fargus attacks the desert lizard and misses. Angela Death attacks the desert lizard and misses. Hellraiser uses... I don't know what the hell he's using. Thrasher uses. Okay. Nothing happens. The desert lizards run at you. Oh, crap. Okay, so Hellraiser, we're gonna attack. He's got the pistol. No one is within range. Here we go again with no one is within range to attack. What the heck? Load on jam. Hellraiser can't. Rapid can't be reloaded. Death, let's give her a crowbar. What the hell? I don't know. Yes. Okay, encounter begins again. Hellraiser swaps equipment. Tasser swaps equipment. Snake Vargas swaps equipment. Angela Death swaps equipment. Okay, everybody swaps equipment. Hoo hoo hoo. The desert li riz lizards run at you. Well, are they close enough yet for me to attack the damn things? Because every time I click attack... Oh, cool. Now I can attack. Awesome. Everybody's attacking. Yes. Counter begins. Hellraiser attacks and hits one desert lizard for four points of damage. Thrasher attacks and hits one desert lizard for ten points of damage. Snake Vargas misses. Angela Death misses. The desert lizards, lizards howls. So the desert lizard bowls into Thrasher and hits for two points of damage. The desert lizard pounces on Thrasher and hits for four points of damage. The desert lizard pounces on Thrasher and hits for four points of damage. Poor Thrasher. The desert lizard bowls into Hellraiser and hits for three points of damage. Wow. Thrasher's down. Um, okay, we're gonna attack. Attack. Change weapons. Give him another pistol. And we'll give her a pistol if we have enough. I don't know how many pistols we have. Counter begins. Hellraiser attacks and hits one desert lizard for 10 points of damage. 
Thrasher attacks the Desert Lizard and misses. Oh, you idiot, Thrasher. The Desert Lizard, Lizard misses. The Desert Lizard bowels into Snake Vargas and hits for four points of damage. The Desert Lizard pounces for Hellraiser and hits for six points of damage. And another one takes and hits Angela for one point of damage. Snake Vargas swaps equipment. And Angela Death swaps equipment. Cool, we all get guns on now. Okay, let's all attack. Okay, Hellraiser attacks and hits one Desert Lizard for seven points of damage. Thrasher attacks and hits Desert Lizard for nine points of damage. Snake Vargas does another three points of damage, and Angela Death does another three points of damage. Why aren't these things dying? The Desert Lizard pounces on Snake Vargas and hits for three points of damage, and Desert Lizard misses. This Desert Lizard pounces on Snake Vargas again for another two points of damage on Snake Vargas. Thrasher's only got four points left. I'm assuming that's whatever that is. Attack, 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 attack. Okay. Hellraiser attacks and hits one Desert Lizard for six points of damage. Thrasher does 15 points of damage, killing a lizard. Snake Vargas does what? Three points of damage. Angela Death attacks and does six points of damage to a lizard, killing that one. Only two lizards seem to remain. The Desert Lizard bowels into Snake Vargas and hits for four points of damage. The other Desert Lizard misses. Yes, we only have two more left. Let's attack, 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 attack! Okay, Hellraiser's weapon is jammed. Thrasher attacks the Lizard and misses. Snake Vargas does one point, does nine points of damage, and Angela Death hits one for ten points of damage. A Desert Lizard bowels for Angela Death and hits for two points of damage and the other Lizard misses. Okay, so Hellraiser needs to load, unjam his weapon. Thrasher will attack, attack, attack. Counter begins. Thrasher attacks and hits the Desert Lizard for 17 points of damage, killing it. Snake Vargas attacks and hits one Desert Lizard for eight points of damage. Meanwhile, Angela Death does another six points of damage, killing the last Lizard. While Hellraiser unjams the weapon, Hellraiser reloads. Angela Death gains 120 experience points, and Thrasher gains 120 experience points. Okay, wasn't that fun, folks? I'm really not sure that it was. Okay, we're not seeing anything here. Should we go talk to the old man since we took and killed one set of things? I don't see the old man. A large satellite tracking dish aimed to the north. The white metal struts and plates shine as if they were new. Okay, wheat, a lot of it. Uh-oh. Looks like we just had attacked. Many holes surrounded by a pack of packed earth. An armored sentinel with brown fur spots you and barks an alarm. Two prairie dogs, three prairie dogs appear at two feet. Wow, so we gotta fight five prairie dogs here. Hellraiser, attack! Everybody attack, okay. Which group? Well, let's go after group one first. Since there's two of them. Attack, attack, two, attack, two, yes! Encounter begins. Hellraiser attacks and hits one prairie dog for ten points of damage. Snake Vargas attacks and hits for seven points of damage. Angela Death attacks and hits the prairie dog for nine points of damage. 
The prairie dog misses. The prairie dog pounces on Angela Death and hits for five points of damage. The prairie dog misses. The prairie dog pounces on Angela again for another four points of damage. The prairie dog bowels into the snake Fargus and hits for one point of damage. Okay, so let's attack again. Okay, so the encounter begins, and we're off to a good start with Hellraiser attacking and getting 11 points of damage and killing a prairie dog. Thrasher then attacks and gets 13 points of damage, killing another prairie dog. We get missed by one prairie dog, while another prairie dog does 2 points of damage and a pounce, and the prairie dog bowels, and I have no clue what happened to it. So now we'll just do a bunch of attacks again. Okay, here we go. Hellraiser attacks for 9 points of damage on the prairie dog in the second group. Snake Vargas attacks and does 4 points of damage. Meanwhile, Angela Death does 8 points of damage and kills the prairie dog. Thrasher misses. Thrasher brutalizes the prairie dog for 9 points of damage. The prairie dog bowels into Snake Vargas for 4 points of damage. The other prairie dog luckily misses. Attack, 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 attack. Okay, so now Hellraiser does four points of damage. Snake Vargas attacks for seven points of damage. Angela Death causes a massive 13 points of damage while Thrasher misses. Thrasher misses again. The Prairie Dog bowels into Hellraiser causing two points of damage. And then one, how... Bowels into Hellraiser again for another three points of damage. Okay, here we go. Hellraiser attacks and does six points of damage, while Snake Fargus does seven points of damage, killing the Prairie Dog. Angela Death attacks and does eight points of damage, while Thrasher does another five points of damage. Thrasher then brutalizes the prairie dog for 8 points of damage, killing it. Hellraiser gains 80 points of experience, Angela death 80, and Thrasher a massive 240 experience, while Snake Fargus gains 80. Okay. I'm really not sure what we're supposed to actually be doing. I've killed a few of these things. Oops. Something just moved in the field. Three bunnies appear at 14 feet. Okay, so that bunny looks an awful lot like the prairie dog we just killed. Anyway. So. Let's hire someone now. Which group? Three bunnies? What the heck? Hire. Why is it asking... Why am I hiring bunnies? Can't hire bunnies, what the hell? The bunny bowl browls into Snake Vargas and hits for five points of damage. The bunny misses, the bunny misses. Hellraiser tries to hire the bunny but fails. Thrasher tries to hire the bunny but fails. Snake Vargas tries to hire the bunny and he fails also as well as Angela Death. No bunnies were hired today. So we're going to attack them. Okay, Hellraiser attacks and hits for 5 points of damage. Snake Vargas does a massive 16 points of damage, killing one bunny. Angela Death does, then does another 8 points of damage, killing yet another bunny. Thrasher hammers the bunny for 6 points of damage, and then Thrasher hammers the bunny again for another 7 points of damage, killing it. Angela Death gains 40, 20 points. Thrasher gets 40. Snake Vargas gains 20. A wall of steel with the faint outline of a door in the center. A crudely written sign reads Root Cellar. Okay, carrots lay here. The 15 foot tall 
targets of long-eared varmints. Armored, long-eared, pink and white lumps of fur are hopping around here. A wall of pink-eyed pops up in front of you. Bunnies. One bunny, two bunny appear at two feet. Here we go, fighting bunnies again. Okay, so we'll attack group one. Attack group one. Attack group two. Attack group two. Yes. Okay, here we go again, folks. Hellraiser attacks and hits one bunny for five points of damage, while Snake Fargus does another four points of damage to the bunny. Angela then hits the bunny for 12 points and kills it while Thrasher misses, but then Thrasher comes back hammering the bunny for 12 points of damage, killing it. The one remaining bunny misses. Everybody attack the bunny. Hellraiser attacks the bunny for 5 points of damage, killing it. Hellraiser gains 20 experience, Angela Death gains 20 experience, Thrasher gets a massive 40 experience. I'm assuming we're trying to find the... Oh, big beans. Oh, more bunnies. Oh no, these are opossums. At your approach, opossums mass for an attack and waddle towards you. One opossum and two opossum, three opossum, four. No, sorry, there's only the three opossum. We're going to attack them. And attack them. And then attack group two. And attack group two. Yes. Here we go! Hellraiser attacks and hits one opossum for 12 points of damage. Snake Farza Vargas then does 17 points of damage on the opossum. Angela Death then continues with 9 points of damage, while Thrasher brutalizes the opossum for 10 points of damage. Thrasher misses on his second round. The opossum bowels into Angela Death and hits for 2 points of damage, while the other two opossums miss. Attack! 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 Okay, Hellraiser attacks and hits for 10 points, killing the possum in group 1. Snake Fargus attacks and hits the opossum for 14 points of damage. Angela Death Edge follows up with 8 points of damage, killing it. Thrasher misses, but makes a comeback, brutalizes the possum for 10 points of damage on his second go-round. Possum then bowels into Hellraiser and hits for 4 points of damage. Let's just all attack the last remaining possum. Okay, Hellraiser takes and does 10 points of damage to the remaining possum while... Snake Vargas then does 12 points of damage, killing the final possum. Hellraiser gains 32 experience, Angela Death gains 32, and Snake Vargas gains 32. Big beans. Enter new location. No, we'll stay in the patch. Ooh, ears of corn. Anything in the ears of corn? Up oh, there we go. Knew we'd find something on the ears of corn. Many holes surrounded by packed earth. An armored sentinel with brown fur spots you and barks an alarm. Here we go with prairie dogs again. Group one has three prairie dogs. Group two has two prairie dogs. They appear at two feet. Everybody attack group one. Okie dokie. Hellraiser attacks and hits one prairie dog for three points. Snake Vargas does eight points of damage. Angela Death does 12 points of damage while Thrasher misses but makes a comeback with seven points of damage. Meanwhile, two prairie dogs miss. One does three points of damage and the other two miss. Sorry, I turned my text up a little too fast there. I couldn't keep up. Oh well. Attack. 
Hellraiser attacks for nine points of damage. Snake Fargus does seven, killing the prairie dog. Angela Dust does ten points, and Thrasher does four, and then does another five points of damage. The prairie dogs miss, and one does six points of damage, one does four points of damage, and one misses. Man, let's get rid of these prairie dogs already, would we? Jeez. Oh boy, let's just turn this up to mega fast and let it run. I'm starting to lose my voice, so I'm not going to be yelling out, shoutcasting these battles at this point. Killed another prairie dog. Thrasher got 480 experience points and Snake Fargus got 160. Okay. Yep, here we go. Hopefully this is going to be the one we've been waiting for. These are rats. Three foot tall black rats race towards you with gleaming eyes and razor sharp teeth. Three rats per group. Oh, I guess everybody should attack group one. Why not? Oh, we killed a rat right off the bat. Cool. Killed. Oh, wow. Somebody got knocked unconscious. I missed it. I think it was Thrasher. Oh, maybe not. Turn down the speed here. Hellraiser attacks for 11 points, 8 points, 8 points, and 11 points, and Snake Frog has killed another rat. Oh man, somebody keeps getting knocked unconscious. I can't see who. But then when we go to attack, they're all there to attack them. Snake Vargas, Angela Death. Oh no. Actually, we only have Vargas and, and Death fighting now. The rat pounces and causes six points of damage. Okay, so Hellraiser's unconscious still. Thrasher attacks. Snake Vargas attack. Angela Death attack. Oh, miss. One points of damage. Hey, Snake Vargas killed another one, and the rats missed, luckily. Everybody's backing up on their feet, it looks like. Well, Thrasher does 10 and 12 points, killing a rat. Hellraiser misses. Hellraiser brutalizes for 7 points. Oh, are we out of ammo? Crap, it looks like we're out of ammo. Well, we got ammo. What the heck? I don't know. Angela Death kills a rapper. Hellraiser swaps equipment, Thrasher swaps equipment, Snake Vargas swaps equipment, Hellraiser gains 30 damage experience, while Angela Death gets 120, Thrasher gains 60, and Snake Vargas gets 120. Heavy one door reinforced with steel defies you to open it. Okay, I don't know where these varmints are. Oh, wait, there's one carrot leg here. We're fighting bunnies again. This is one of the longest battles I've encountered anywhere. Jeez. 
We've been going for 45 minutes on this video, and most of it's been this little field with this little battle. They don't make battles like this anymore, that's for darn sure. Well, we killed those bunnies fairly quickly. I'm honestly, not exactly sure what we're supposed to be doing here. Gotta save the game. Nah, no, not gonna quit just yet. We should, though. Okay, that's got to be our last fight, I think. And it's rats again. Of course it would be rats. Well, killed one right off the bat. Man, lots of misses, though. Killed another rat. One more rat to go. Killed it. L Razor got 30 experience. Angel got 60. Thrasher 60. Okay. Oh boy. Well, I'm gonna go out of this area and see what happens. Enter a new area, yes. Well, where are we now? You sent down a dark tunnel. This area smells very strongly of animals and damp dirt. It's dark and hard to see. Oh, well, more armored bunnies. No one's within range to attack. We gotta run. Party. Okay. Oh, guess we didn't run away from the bunnies. Attack. Ugh. No one's within range. Run, party. Let's run towards the bunnies. Why not? Can we attack them now, I hope. Yes, good. I'm just gonna turn this up to fast for now to run through these really quick. Huh. No. Wait. Who's got fists? We gotta change Thrasher's weapon. Let's put a pistol on him. Okay. There we go. Okay. We killed a bunny, apparently. That's good. Oops, somebody's unconscious. Snake Vargas is down! Oh, now Hellraiser... Nope, they came back. Okay. Are we going to ever kill these bunnies in this hole? 
Hellraiser's unconscious again. Damn it. <laughs> Can't tell where. I guess this is our health points, but it says it's a condition. Okay, yay, we killed those bunnies. Okay, so we are going to stop here. We've been playing for almost an hour. But I wanted to show you this this game because I did get it with Wasteland 2. If you want to see more of it in a Let's Play Well, then let me know in the comments. But otherwise, this is probably going to be the only time that I actually do a recording for Wasteland. There will be more of Wasteland 2, though. There'll be a 3 low for it, and maybe even a Let's Play, or we'll stream it. We'll have to wait and see. So, there again. Let me know what you thought. If you liked the video, give me a like. If you didn't like the video, well, then let me know what you didn't like it. If you really have to dislike it with that thumbs down, as much as it pains me, go ahead and do it, but be sure to leave a comment to let us know why. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, I almost forgot. Well then, what are you waiting for? You watched the video for almost an hour for crying out loud. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know too in the comments. Do you guys take and like these retro games? These old game RPGs from the 80s and 90s. If you do, let me know. I'll be happy to do more. I've got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of the old Boulder's Gate series and Dungeon and Dragons series. So let me know and I'll be glad to make you up some videos of them. Until next time, I'm Sir Jaxie and I'm fading out.